as you already know, I'm addicted to the DIN rails at the moment and everything DIN rail related. So I got, where's the opening thingy? So I got another parcel from Amazon. And uh, yeah, don't need that. And this is what's in the box. It's a very cheap um, uh, kit. There's nothing to it. Literally, just a bag. Because you don't need anything else, do you? So, uh, here it is. Stand of it. Who cares about that? Now, you get all of the uh, components that are in the description, blah, 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 on the Amazon listing. But that's not the interesting part at all. And that's not what you want to see, is it? What you want to see is... I can grab the red one. One. Do I need one? Yeah, one's enough. This is for isolation, but don't care about that either. What you care about is your Arduino with some sort of shield, and in this instance I'm using the RS485 uh, input-output, I think, board from Kainis, however you pronounce it, and the Eleduno Uno are free. I found these to be really good and reliable and uh, semi-cheap. So here is the uh, item in question. So uh, did well, obviously. I'm gonna clip it in, but that in a second. I just want to give you a quick overview because that's what I struggled to find on YouTube before I bought one of these. So you got one of these things and you probably can't see here Nah, or maybe, yeah. This uses a normal flat screwdriver. And you can see this little carriage thing go. Yeah, is moving up and down. So what this is doing, it is actually connecting whatever's in here, whatever you put in here, with this like shared uh, bus, shared, shared, shared whatever. Um, can't, can't elaborate today. So basically, what you want to do when you have an Arduino project and you want to make it nice and tidy, you jam this one in, yeah, till the end, because it's not going to go very far, and then you literally tighten this up, okay? Not too tight, but tight enough. So this can be dangling all day long. And now, if you connect another one over here, they'll be electronically connected. And obviously, I'm sure that's why you came here to see this. Boom, here you go. That's the action bit. Now, if I get one more red, just for kicks, and not break everything in the process, then, uh, whew, then, as you can easily tell, I can connect several of them in here. One second. Oh, holy cow. Here we go. Now we got two. So, I can connect another wire here. Obviously, that's going to be nice and easy. If I first unlock it. Okay. Jam it in, tighten it up, here we go, all nice and snug, so that's all good. Now, you're asking how do I create common ground here, well, well, common ground, common anything. There are some, I need to take it off because it's hard to manage it from here, there are some things like this, I have no idea how they are called and what they are called. You just jam, in it, jam them in here and you use these little tiny, tiny screws that are here somewhere, promise, here you go, these ones, and you bolt them down, tighten them down. Um, so I'm going to do that right now, just for kicks, and because I can, hopefully, and here we go one not sure if you need to tighten this one as well but it doesn't matter 
I am going to just for the sake of this demonstration. So take some time. Run screwdriver, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it's all in, and you cut off the excess. Obviously, the uh, isolation thing you would add it over here. Yeah, so we can put another one, another one because this is what you're going to be facing with. Or is the other way here? Sorry. <laughs> too late in the day this way round I guess and that's how you can create a little uh, network and uh, make it all wonderful and beautiful and then start connecting things to your Arduino and keep things you know tidy so it doesn't look like a five-year-old took a sledgehammer to the project and it's just not a big bloody mess so yeah that's all I wanted to show you Super easy. I think the DIN rail kits are amazing for your Arduino projects and uh, This one is 14 pound. You can get something much cheaper uh, Potentially sorry. This is one of the cheapest I could find but I'm sure there could be some promotions etc etc so Word wonders and this will be good enough for two or three projects. I think you'll have quite a few of these spare this I find to be the uh, thing that you need to buy separately, but I haven't figured out what it's called yet. What's the code for it, the product code or whatever, uh, Stu. Uh, so I need to figure out and maybe order some of those and see if that works out for me. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully that helps someone and uh, thanks for watching.